check it out. We've got the Through Night Catapult Mini. And I've had a special request to compare it against the Olight Warrior Mini. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the two of these side by side just to kind of give you an idea of how small this Catapult Mini is. It's in breathing mode right now. That little blue light right there in the button is really nice at night to find this thing and it also shows up in there as well. This little thrower, I'm sure you all have been seeing these around. I see a lot of videos on YouTube so I don't want to go into it too much on the actual light. I want to do more of a comparison to kind of give you all something else to check out aside from what's already out there. There's the proprietary 18350 battery that comes with it. It's a pretty nice little thrower to throw in the pocket and have some distance that can reach out there and do some work and it doesn't take up a lot of size. If I was carrying this I'd want to also have a secondary light to kind of be a bit of a flood to go with it because it's so much it's such a perfect tight little beam that you could wind up finding that you don't have much flood out to the side so really these two lights that I'm comparing are a pretty good combination but if you were just carrying just this catapult mini it wouldn't be terrible because it does at least have this low light a little bit of light and then you can bump it up to a lot of bit of light we'll get it out and compare the beams at night and give you an idea of what they look like at night I also want to throw in some other throwers like this Noctigon KR1 like if I was going to carry a thrower and no other flashlight it would probably honestly be that KR1 to be honest with you because I mean it's got an 18650 in it it's got a lot more battery and you're gonna be able to carry it with that clip people are making holsters for these and figuring out how to carry them and stuff whereas you have a clip built in right there something to consider I'm also gonna bring out this MSR D1 just to give you an idea of how the beams perform that way you have an idea of what what we're dealing with here and see the size between the two it is a lot smaller so that is nice to have something so small and it does have a comparable beam it really does has strobe and lockout and like I said I don't want to go into the details of it too much since there's so many other videos out there you get the idea and you know what's going on with it by those other videos I wanted to give you guys a little bit more information and have some comparison this is another Noctigon KR1 it is the W1 Osram beam and this is the W2 which is a little bit more flood and this is a little bit more throw and we'll just compare all these and let you see what they look like at night mainly there's a size up of how they compare in size and then we'll let you see how they perform in the evening time I did carry this for a few days now and a side of you know I mean throwing it down in a like a cargo pocket with something else clipped in my higher pocket it's been it's been pretty good to have it's not been a bad bad little setup now here we are it's kind of getting dark we're not quite dark yet but good enough in these woods here and what I've done is I've locked out the camera on that area back there that I'm lighting up that way as I'm swapping out lights it won't adjust and you get an idea of the beam on these things so that's on the highest setting on the little mini. And we drop it down to the lower setting. We can go 
there's the absolute lowest setting and you can see a little bit of it down there not much it's going to be more so for finding something close up and not ruining your night vision which i do like that it has that again highest setting and then turbo brought it up to turbo and using this thing on turbo it doesn't get hot i haven't had it get as hot as some of my other lights i've got the msr d1 right here next to it I'm just going to go to its highest setting, go to turbo, and notice how the D1 has a little bit more flood. And that mini, you can get right in there and you can still see its beam. So it's going to let you know that it's pretty, pretty tight beam. Here's the KR1 with the W2 emitter. And on its highest setting, it's kind of like the D1 with some flood but it's going to be a lot brighter obviously that's the newer kr1 and little mini catapult still able to see its beam inside there and let's try the kr1 it must be locked out hang on there we go let's try the kr1 with the W2 emitter and these I've noticed like before I was even recording very comparable in my opinion in the naked eye in the screen everything seems really comparable with those two beam patterns and as far as distance that they can throw both very comparable Neither one getting very hot, which is impressive to me. Again, my camera's zoomed in on the back back there, so you can't really see the two lights in detail right now, but you see the difference in the size that this little bitty light is comparable to something that's much larger. Good to know. And then this is by request, the Olight Warrior Mini, and it's just pure flood like you're lighting everything up and you can still see the mini catapult in there like I said this one was brought into the picture on a request because I honestly don't think that there's any comparison between those two I think that these two lights are great for what they are and I'd carry them both at the same time to say one's better than the other. I'm not going to do it. And I'd also even say that the MSR is a great light and one of my favorites to carry because I can light things up in daylight with this thing. And I've even been doing the same thing with this mini catapult. You can light stuff up in daylight, like working, showing things on sites and stuff. I can light up an area and say, yeah, I'm talking about that right over there, you know? and people can see what I'm talking about, kind of using this thing like a laser pointer, in other words, in the daytime. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, if you want something with a clip, there's that. If you want to throw something in your pocket, there's this. So just wanted to go over it and give you all a good look at it. You can put it in breathing mode and find it at night. It's not locked out like that. You bump it, and then you can turn it on. To lock it out, hit it four times. Now it's actually locked out. Throw it in a bag and not turn it on. We lost our focus. There it is. All right. If y'all have any questions, just hit it up in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.